Hello, lovely people. Welcome back to Focus Hive. <laughs> All right, my friends, before we proceed further, click on the share button. Or if you have not subscribed, then click on the subscribe button because if you subscribe, my new content will pop up. If you share, it will encourage me to create more such videos as you all know that we have started a new series on complaint is a gift or the feedback mindset or the feedback culture we are doing multiple episodes to reinstate the concept of feedback or complaint being a gift now we in, we kind of spoke about why it's important to have a feedback culture in your business personal life whatsoever right and in the series of multiple episodes we will ensure that we reinstate the fact and via these episodes i want to kind of share some tools some approaches some models for you to make use of this concept a lot of people have spoken about it a lot of books are available in these videos i'm going to break them down for you to use them learn about these in a very small digestible nuggets so that you can really make use of it right that's the essence of me creating and producing these videos for you now in the now today in this episode what we are going to talk about is how we can convert complaints into opportunities and in order to grow you have to kind of keep on improving day by day minute by minute in small chunks one percent at a time right now either you know you're very sharp and you know what you have to improve or someone tells you having said that let's look at what happens when you receive a complaint right complaint inherently itself has a negative connotation anytime anybody gives you a feedback your business receives a feedback your team receives a feedback it seems a negative situation and by default you become defensive protective and kind of lose the opportunity to improve from that and it is all because of the mindset the mind tells you what to do and it's a human nature to become defensive flight or fight right so either you run away or you just go and take a take a bout with it and believe me uh, when whenever we get feedbacks as we were talking about that it makes us defensive it makes us uh, kind of protect ourselves but the moment you realize that there is by receiving the feedback in the right manner with the right mindset you would realize that it's not so bad it's actually giving you an opportunity giving you an opening to work with to do something about it and to kind of take you to the next level improve from where you are and the moment you realize that it's magical how your mindset changes all right so turning complaints into opportunities so the first and the most important thing is to understand the different possibilities of customer behavior right when would a customer give us feedback or those situation those scenarios and how as an individual or as a business we should respond to so I've color coded these boxes uh, based on the severity and the situation to the best of my knowledge. So the first one is when your product or service has failed and you can relate it to your personal life as well. I mean, there was something expected out of you and you failed to deliver on it. So that's a failure point. Now, at this point, you the recipient of that service or the product is quiet they are not telling you anything they are not giving you any feedback they just are not bothered about it 
well, maybe they are bothered about it, but they're not telling you what's wrong. Now, this is the most severe situation. This is exponentially bad. And you have to ensure that you figure out these situations with your customers, with your friends, whoever you are working with, right? Whatever the situation may be, if you are in this situation where you something has gone wrong and nobody's telling you, you are in deep shit. So how you got to solve is that, number one, you should ask for feedback. Fold your hands, say sorry, and ask for feedbacks. And if you are getting feedbacks, good. If you're not getting feedback, figure out ways to encourage people, encourage your customers, encourage them to give you the feedback. And how you can encourage is by showing action for what, whatever little feedback that you might have gone, what, what gotten, whatever little insights you might have gotten, do something about it. Show them that you really care and you're taking actions. And that would be the tipping point for that customer, for that individual who will then start sharing their pain points, their sorry state because of you. And then you can go ahead and solve that for that customer. So that's the first and the most important and the most critical situation wherein you have to make sure that you deal with it. The second situation could be, which I have kind of color coded as orange, which is not as severe as the previous one, but this is also some a situation where your product or a service has failed. And thankfully, the customer speaks, they're unhappy, they're upset, but they at least tell you what's not working for them. They at least tell you their pain point. So you should be thankful to that customer that they're telling you what the problem is, and then they're giving you an opportunity to fix it. So do what may, ensure that the problem is fixed. And while you fix the problem, you show the progress right? Any major change that you're making based on that feedback, you should let that customer know that I am making X, Y, Z changes. So they see the progress. They see that action is happening on their feedback. Third state, which is a yellow state, is where nothing has failed. Your product is working fine. Your service is working fine. But probably there is some kind of confusion. Your customer is complaining and it is a situation where they might not have understood what they were trying to do. They might not have understood your point of view. And a lot of complaints fall in this category, wherein there is some kind of disconnect. But at least the customer is speaking. You can make use of that opportunity. And your action would be to ensure that you go back, educate the customer about the expectations, and ensure that you clear the air. It's very, very important. That's the action that you would take. The fourth, which is green in color, and you all know it's a happy state where nothing has failed and your customer is happy and they are giving you praises. So your action is say thanks and celebrate it. Now, the reason why I'm sharing it is these are steps, right? And in order to solve any problem, you have to understand the problem. So if somebody is yelling, if somebody is getting angry with you, if somebody is giving feedback, do not react to it. That's the most important aspect. Listen to them. Hear them out, right? And as you're hearing them, as you're listening to their grievances, my recommendation is to try and bucketize those feedback into these four buckets and see where you are well fair enough you've given me the scenarios possibilities when i could get a feedback but what do i do with my mindset i'm still defensive i'm still not happy well for that we have to ensure that we understand why customers give us feedback our parent correct us whenever we are, we go wrong our parent are the first ones who correct us why do they correct us because they care. They care about us and they want us to do the right things. They want us to be best of what we can be. And likewise, when a customer is complaining, 
they are not only concerned about their own success, their own ROIs, but they care about you. That's why they're giving you feedback. So that's the most important aspect about understanding why a customer is giving you feedback. Mm -hmm. And number two is they believe you will take action. You're not a gone case, right? <laughs> You're not in a situation where you cannot turn around. They still have faith. They still have belief that you will do something about it. Once you know that something has gone wrong, you will take action. These are the two prominent reasons why anyone, why anybody would give you feedback or complaint with you. If they, if they don't care, they'd simply go and figure out another product, dump you in the drain and move on to another product. Who cares? If they don't have faith that you will solve the problem, they will not waste their energy in giving you the feedback. So whenever you are getting a feedback, and realize, ensure, understand, have the, these two things in your mind that if you're getting feedback, know that they have good faith and they care about you and they know, they, they kind of have confidence that you will do something about it. The moment you have understood, the moment you have this realization that, hey, if he is telling me that I've done something wrong, or if she is telling me that I've done something wrong, it's not because they want to point fingers at me, but it is because they care about me and they know that I can fix it. The moment you kind of think about it in, in your mind, the switch will happen you will suddenly realize you're now looking at feedback at a very positive light. And now you have, and all of a sudden, you will feel a gush of energy. Now you know that they have faith and you can do something about it. You can make a change. You can solve it. And you would feel, suddenly feel that, okay, let's do something about it. So that's where comes the next two part of the whole idea that we were talking about, right? So if if I have to lay down it into simple terms, the this is a four-step model of converting complaints into opportunities. It's a four-step model. First is categorize the feedback. Two is shift your mindset. Third is actually taking actions, right? Now you've got the feedback, you know which situation you were in, and now you're taking actions and you're trying to solve that, or maybe you've solved it. And when you have solved it, you've told the customer, hey, we have solved it, hope you like it, thank you so much, give your feedback. Now, the story does not end here. One more thing that you need to do, uh, which I feel is being missed out a lot of times, which is keeping your customer informed, keeping your stakeholders informed, right? It, you may not be able to solve the problem overnight. You may not be able to solve the problem in the next two hours. It might take two days. It might take two weeks. It might take a sprint. It might take a quarter. It might take a year. Totally depending on the kind of problem that you're trying to solve. Now, the most critical thing in going through the journey of solving a problem is keeping everyone aware of what we are doing, where we are, what is the current status, and what is the next action. As long as your customer, your stakeholders are aware of it, they will not have a complaint because they see the progress happening. And that is the fourth step, which is Always remember to give progress updates. Sometimes you can provide updates about minor milestones as well, but make sure that you have to give the update about your major milestones, right? So if you have to summarize the whole thing, categorize your problem, shift your mindset, solve the problem, and while you are solving the problem, share the updates. If you are following the model of these four steps, including the red, orange, yellow, green, 
and the shift mindset why customers complain if you put all together it is magical i would urge you the next time anyone giving you feedback and this is the time the time is right i mean this is a time of performance appraisal you are in a room with your manager and chances are that you may get some feedback try this out try this model out when you're receiving a feedback and let me know if you found this model helpful and if you and if you're able to use it to convert your mindset right the, that's the whole idea that you're able to change adverse situations into opportunity a feedback a negative rant can be a very difficult situation and how you're changing it to an opportunity is the game that you want to be the best at so thank you so much for joining in today i'm really really thankful that you're sticking around with me and uh, before i go i would request you to please share this video with your colleagues your friends at least one person that you can